Hi and welcome to this short getting started overview video for Viral Inbox. What we're going to do in this video is just look at some of the main features as to how you can navigate your Viral Inbox account. So the first thing we want to point out is the right menu links here. You can see you have your email, your address book, the news section where you can click to see any updates, the system mailer so when you want to mail people when you earn credits or when you buy credits or when you get credits for your upgraded accounts. If you want to advertise in the system, now obviously as we go through these in each section there'll be information and videos. So for example if we click on advertise you'll see it's going to pop up and they all do this and each link has a description next to it so that you can find out exactly what each one does and how to implement it plus there'll be videos in all sections and also in the help section down here there's a link to videos as well. You have the upgrade you have the affiliate section here, so if you wanted to start promoting Viral Inbox and earning great affiliate commissions, you can see why to promote here and promotional tools in here. And this will have your affiliate links and everything. You have the ability to view your downline, your personal referrals, and here's where you'll see your earnings as well as our referral contest. So that's all under the affiliate section. Now the settings section contains all the information for you personally and for email preferences and there'll be a video in here for you to watch as well. So you've got your email preference settings, your box settings, and then you've got your account settings down here and your domain settings. So in here this is where you can manage your account details which actually pops up to you when you first sign in. And here you can see that you need to add in all, all your details including your address and here you can save your IDs in, in other sites and you click here to get the IDs if you don't have them yet. And then you obviously just click save and you go to the next step. Okay. So this is the your launch panel. This is all the the options for you to run your your business. Now let's look at the email panel. So what you have up here is you have boxes. And under these boxes VIP is an abbreviation for viral inbox or very important person. And then those are basically the system update emails and important emails you should read. The reward box. Now what happens here is people are going to send you emails with great offers and potentially free products and things like that. So what you want to do is you want to have a look at these emails and read them when they're unread. And then basically when you click on links in these emails you'll be able to earn a mail credit as well by clicking on that link. So what's going to happen is it first it loads a, a countdown bar and then after 10 seconds you'll get credited and then you'll be able to go over this side where we were before to the system mailer and you'll be able to send out a mail from here with all the credits you've earned plus you'll be able to mail your downline and so on. So you see you can choose your downline members plus you can add more depending on how many credits you have. So as you read emails or as you're an upgraded member or if you buy credits and so on you'll earn credits and you can start mailing to extra people. okay, And then obviously you'll just put in your, your email here and hit send mail. Upgraded members get to save templates and be able to reload from a previous mail sent. So let's continue looking at boxes a little bit more. Now this is a productivity tool so you have a do now box and a do later box. So in the do now box um, when you read things, so for example I'm going to read this email you can either double click on it to open it or single click and then just view it in this panel here, the, the preview panel it's called. So I like to do it this way but if you want to double click on your email you can and you get it in the full panel. So here we see an image and it's a, um, a promo and so once I've read it what I do is I simply click here which takes it away from my do now box. Now it's still in my approved boxes here, we're going to talk about that in a minute. So, okay, now this one's interesting because uh, let's say that I, I like this email and I want to actually read this later, but I'm out of time at the moment, I'm a little bit busy. So what I can do is I can just drag this into my do later and let go. And it will now add it into my do later box, okay? Also, what you'll find is you'll find controls along the top here. So if I want to reply to this email, I can reply. If it's a multi-email, I click reply to all. I can forward it, I can put it in the trash, I can put it in spam then archive it and this is to go to the next message but here's another interesting thing so you can mark it here as well so if you want to add it to do later you don't have to drag and drop you can just click this 
Um, once it's in due late, you can remove it. You can leave it as unread or you can mark it as read or done. So instead of clicking the button next to it, you could just click this and it'll disappear. The other thing you have is a more function which allows you to print the message um, and you can view the source, so you can open it in a new window. So now we've done this one, so we could either just click there like we did before, which is quite quick, or we just go as read or done. But before I click that, I want to show you another way of adding it to, to do later. So you either drag it, or you click that, or you can just go here and click under the star, and then that adds it. So by doing this, it leaves it as still do now, and also adds to do later. You see it's now seven. So if I remove it from do later, it stays in do now, and there's six. So, okay, so I've done this, so I'm going to mark it as read or done. So now I no longer have any mails left in my do now box. The do later was what we were talking about before, and you can see all the mails that I've left here to read later and take action on later. And then obviously my sent, I can see all the emails I've sent from. I can see my drafts, which is mails that I've just clicked save and haven't sent yet. And then obviously spam and trash, which clear themselves pretty quickly. Now another important function here, the most important function, would be your approved and pending boxes. So as you can see, what these numbers represent is this represents the number of approved boxes I have. So I have 25 approved boxes and they have 434 unread mails in them. And in pending, I have 10 pending boxes that have 45 unread mails. And you'll be able to see that you can toggle by clicking on this. So now, when you click on it, it expands and it shows all your boxes. So you see all these ones don't have unread emails in, so they don't need to be shown to me. They're hidden. I can search them at any time, though, um, by simply clicking that. Now, if I leave it like this, then it's only going to show me ones that I need to take action on. So, for example, this one I've called Squidoo. So now, if I mark that one as red, you'll see that the box disappears from here now. So it's very easy to manage this. Now, um, pending boxes, you can't read a pending message until you approve it. So let's say that I'm having a quick look at this. Now I want to read this email. It's going to give me a message saying, uh, you first need to approve it. Now to approve a box, you have two options. You can either approve it by clicking this, approve the mailbox, or up in the top here you'll see it says approve. So if we click this, it's now going to move it to my approved. And here they are, and I can mark them as read as I read them. So the next thing that's interesting is, let's say that I have a box that I don't want to approve. So for example, let's have a look at this. Now, this is a list that I joined. It was supposed to be a single marketer. And you can see that in a short period of time, even since I've last approved it, um, quite a few emails. So let's say, for example, in this one, I don't necessarily want to keep. So what I'll do here is I just click delete. Now it gives me this pop-up and it says, are you sure you want to delete this mailbox and all of the mail in it? Now, I have the ability to click OK, and then when I do that, if someone sends it back to the same address again, if this is not checked, then it's just going to create a new pending box. So if I want to block this sender from emailing me in future, I just click block all new mail to this address. OK, so it's basically a two-click button. It's gone. Any time that that address gets mailed again, our servers are just going to bounce it back to them and say that this person doesn't want your mail. So that's how you put people on, on your block list if you want. And then what we want to do here is now we're going to look at how you can add new boxes for joining lists. So there's two ways of doing this. Now the first way is you do it beforehand. Now this is the slightly longer way. So this is where we first create an approved mailbox. So for example, the box name is what it's going to be as part of your email address. So if I call it personal, let's say I want to join my own personal list, and then I'm going to call it something like that, then you see I can either include these new messages in my do now box or exclude them. So if I don't show, if I don't tick this, then when a new email comes in, it won't go into my do now box. It'll just show under the approved as a pending mail that I need to read, but uh, as an unread mail, but it won't show as a do now box. Let's say that I want these to go in my do now, so I click create. If you want to create multiple boxes, you click Create and New, and then you'll be able to have a chance to enter more. So for now, I'm just going to click Create, and now it's made that box for me. Okay, So now I can start using that if I want. So let's have a quick look for it under Approved. So we drop down the nest, and here you can see it says Colon Personal. 
Now it says no messages found in this mailbox, but if we come down and we have a look at the box address over here, we see it's ck.personal at reply.cm and below that you also see that it's got a pop down of other versions of that email account that I can actually use. So sent to any of those would go to the same box. Okay. The other way of creating boxes is on the fly. So you make them up as you go along and they'll show here under pending. So let's just go, for example, go to my blog and we see that there's a pop-up here. Now, instead of entering your main box account, you must always enter a, a box account instead of an email account. The reason for that is because then you saw before how easy it is we can get off lists and filter and so on. So my username in Viral Inbox is CK. Now I put that. Now I'm going to call this 10 action steps. And you see I'm putting dots between the names. I don't have to. I could keep it one word. But my style, I like going dots. So it's ck.10.action.steps at reply.cm or any other of my email accounts that I've added. And I click get it now. So now what it's going to do is it's going to go to Aweber and it's going to tell me that I'm almost there and that I've got a confirmation link. Okay, so I'm going to close that and we're going to go back to our account here. Now all we want to do is we just want to hit refresh. Okay, and so as we see under the pending boxes it now says 10 action steps and these can take a little while to come through sometimes from the sender. So it says, as we know, that it's required to confirm. So you can't read the email until you approve the box, which we know about. So we're going to click approve this box and it now moves it up here with the ability to now read that mail. So another interesting thing is, as you can see, some have nice words and some have dots in them. So that is the box name and when you hold over it you can see all the different email addresses I can actually use for this one box. Okay, but what I want to do is I actually want to um, change the box name. And The way I do that is I click edit. So remember I didn't set this up, it was automatically mailed to me. So I didn't have a chance to, to set the box name. I don't like it with the dots in it. I want it to present nicely. So I come up to this, this box part where it says edit. I click the pencil. And you see I can't change the box name, but I can change the display name. So I want to make it look all nice. I want it with a capital A. I don't like the dots. So my email address stays like this, obviously, as we used before. But it's going to display nicely to me. And I still want, and I want to now here under edit is where I also have the chance to decide if I want these mails to go in my do now box or not. So in this case I do, so I'll leave it and I'll save it. And so then what we can do is we can go and approve it. And now once I've clicked on that you can see it's red and the box now goes away from my needing action. So I just simply approve that and I get a congratulations on joining the list. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Frank's blog and we're going to do another quick example of this. So from here, remember every time I join a mailing list, I'm using a different box. So my username and my email address stays the same, but the box in between changes. So here we go. He's offering me endless traffic to your sites. He's giving free video access. So I want this. I'm interested. So I start again with CK, and now I call it dot .frank .bauer blog. It's just really be as descriptive as you like, it's completely your choice how you want to remember these people by. And once again at reply.cm or of course because I've already added my own domain which you can do as an upgraded member. I can go to conklink.name for example, it'll go in the same box. So I click continue. Okay. And now it's saying that my action is required, I need to go and click the confirmation link. So that's no problem. I'm happy to go and do that right now. So once again, we come back and we refresh, and then we just wait until, until Frank's come in. There it is, Frank Bauer blog. Okay, so we just come up here and we approve this box. And now to make it look pretty again, and to make sure that it goes to our do now, we do this. Okay, let's just make it look nice. Okay, and include in do now, so we'll save that. And once again, we need to click the confirmation link. So when we do that, it goes away. We click the confirmation link, and it will forward us to his site. 
Thank you for requesting it and it will give us all the information and the video. So we can go and watch that video. And now you can see that the my first email has come back in from my 10 action steps. So once I read that it will disappear again and it will come out of my do now box which it did display in. So that's that's the, the side boxes and we've looked at this here. And when, when you want to send a message you simply just click new message and then I can choose you don't want to send it from your main box because then when people reply to you it doesn't go into a box it goes into your main box and you can't delete your main box or stop spam so you want to choose another email address to send it from so let's say that I am emailing myself I would use ck.personal because it's an email account I set up for any email from me and I'll quickly email myself so I call it me and obviously you'll find a video there's lots of videos which is touching the tip of the iceberg but you'll find other videos showing you exactly how to import your contacts and do everything like that so you can just go down to the help section and check out all the videos okay so this is just a testing subject and now what we have down here is we have these send buttons so we have the option to either send now we can save it as a draft we can cancel if we don't want to send it or we can send it now and add to do later now this is important if you're replying to someone's email for example so for now I'm just going to save this as draft so that you can see how that works and you can check your spelling and attach files and so on up here so we've now saved it now I'm going to go back now what we want to do is we want to reply to an email so here's Frank he's telling us thank you for requesting this so I can either single click or I can double click remember and I'm going to click rep reply and now it's going to reply to Frank and it's using my ck.frank.bauer.blog at colinconkey.net so when he replies back it'll go into his personal box that I've set up for him so we're going to leave this RE here and I'm going to say thanks for the info I will check it out later okay but now in order to remember to check it out later and get back to him like I'm telling him I'm going to do I click send now and add to do later so what this is going to do is it's going to first send my reply to Frank so that's what it's done and it's added it into my do later box so later on I can always check this and I can see here's my email and I was telling Frank that thank you I'll check it out later and here's the email with the link to the video that I set out watch later so that's how easy it is for you to organize yourself and then once you have watched that video then you simply can either just click here which will take it out of do later so you remove the star and it'll be gone as soon as you do it once you've finished your task you click that and it'll disappear or you can just simply mark and remove from do later and there you go and so that's exactly how you're going to control all of this so this was a brief overview of how to use the viral inbox mailing system obviously we need to get a lot more technical and a lot more advanced and there's many cool functions that you can do so what you want to do is go over to the help section you'll find videos all around the site but you also find them here under this video tutorials link so if you click this you'll find some videos in there and on our blog you'll find information we've got an FAQ section as well and then of course if you need tailored support for your account we have a help desk link here as well that you can open up a ticket and our friendly staff will get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for your time in watching this video. I know it was a bit drawn out, but now you can go and start using boxes to join people's mailing lists and join websites and be able to approve the boxes you want, see who's selling email addresses, and block the accounts you don't want. Thank you and enjoy.